Honorable Minister and friends. When I was posted as coal secretary two and a half years ago, someone asked me, Kaisa lag raha hai? I asked a friend of mine, Coal sector kaisa hai? He said, Gangs of Vasepur dekhi hai kya? <laughs> so that was my introduction to coal sector, and when I came out of the darkness and the deep dungeons of coal mines into the bright light of education sector, I felt very good about it. And I have enjoyed these four months of existence. What has really baffled me is that there is so much gyan around, almost everyone seems to know what is the solution to the problem of education, but it doesn't seem to be happening. There is a lot of paralysis of analysis. There is a lot of, as I said, gyan floating around. Almost every day I get so much information and ideas and suggestions on how to improve the education sector, including those from the international segment. They keep telling me, do this, do this. I ask them a counter question. I ask them, if this is so simple and you, everyone seems to have this idea, why isn't it happening on the ground? So my take in the education sector is that we've had enough of gyan. Let's get down to business. Let's get moving. Let's get cracking. Let's get into an actionable action plan. What to do, how to do, when to do, and who should do it. We should clearly identify action points, work out an action plan, and get cracking. There's another thing that I discovered here, which make me, makes me feel uneasy on occasions, is that whereas in coal sector, all the mining was underground and the mafias were over, overground, in education it's the other way around. So I'm trying to locate some of them to see how this segment could be pushed. My compliments to NCRT to have focused on specific areas where probably at the end of two days, we should not merely have additional ideas, but we should have a clear cut action plans on some of the aspects that have been listed out in the agenda. And let me touch upon some of them. A lot of effort has gone into by NCRT in terms of determining the learning outcomes and the parameters are there on the portal. They have been circulated to the states. We have to get cracking on that to determine and assess what's going wrong in the field or what's going right in the field. I think these learning outcomes will have now to be utilized in the field. And there, I'm glad we have representatives from SCRT, though my concern is that the, the, the relationship between SCRT and NCRT leaves a lot to be desired. And I hope this conference would lead to a greater understanding of the functioning of the SCRTs and NCRT and a better relationship and a continuous communication between the two of them. When I took over as Education Secretary, because of all this gyan and because of this understanding, I thought, let me travel to the states and find out what's right and what is wrong. And I have already traveled in the past four months to 20 states. And what an amazing work that is being done in the field. You know, what really baffles me is, that we go to Finland to find out how good education is, we go to Western countries to find out, which is totally alien as far as we are concerned in terms of the cultural, social context. What we haven't really understood is some marvelous work being done in the field by the government sector, by SCRTs, by NGOs. Why hasn't been scaled and replicated? Consequent to which we held eight sets of workshops with different sets of NGOs to understand from them as to why the good work that they're doing is not getting scaled. Because instead of telling everyone that this should be done, because that's the easiest way to get out of a situation, keep telling others what should be done. In our part of the world, in UP, they call them Rai Sahabs, advisors. They give you advice and then they walk away and then you don't know what to do with the advice. I would rather learn from those that have actually done things on the ground. They've performed on the ground. They've achieved on the ground. And that is what I witnessed when I traveled to these 20 states and found outstanding work being done. So this, these sets of workshops that we had with NGOs, we found out clearly how scaling can happen. And now this is also a workshop in that direction. And we are going to have five regional workshops in different regions. There we have, have specific plan offers to the state governments to scale what is already happening. The advantage is that innovations have happened. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. Good work is happening on the ground. We have sought from the NGOs and those states and now SCRTs, please tell us what should the central government and the state government do to scale what you've already done. I think this is a much better and easier way of actually doing things rather than continuing to discover new things and 
coming up with excellently packaged booklets which find good place in an almira never to be opened thereafter i hope the books that the honorable minister launched today and ncrt doesn't place them in the cupboards they are used in the field for implementation purposes now let me touch upon specific four areas that are listed there are more areas but i'm touching upon four of them i have already spoken about the learning outcomes i hope there is a detailed discussion on how it is being planned to be rolled out and i would request state scrts to critically look at what is being rolled out we are sitting here in a family there's no harm in criticizing what is happening so that we learn we improve and when we go to the field it's virtually a perfect system that we roll out that is one the second is a very interesting aspect and this year again i must compliment ncrt and cbse to have worked in tandem to ensure that the ncrt books had become available to cbse affiliated schools you can't imagine the damage it has done to some of the mafias in this country because traditionally what used to happen and i we are extremely obliged to the honorable minister who really pushed us very hard on this front to ensure that the books are available in fact it proves that if you are determined to do things they will actually happen on the ground this has not happened in the past this year for the first time the books were available thanks to the timely intervention of the honorable minister now what it did was that the nexus that existed with the delay in supply of cbsc uh, of ncrt books and the publishers four times five times price books were not sold in the schools we hope to expand this in the next year we are planning straight away and i would challenge the ncrt to be prepared for a larger intervention to all cbsc and other non cbsc books both in terms of our capacity and capability to deliver books on time as well as to improve the quality of publication that you have i'm sure we have a representative from tamil nadu sitting here scrt do we have him here oh what a pity i wish they were here because they have done some wonderful work in terms of delivery of books timely delivery of books do we have representative of chatisgarh sitting here scrt yes <coughs> i had the please please sir i had the occasion to visit chatisgarh scrt what wonderful work they are doing and i hope they are able to share what they are doing the whole idea of coming together is that amongst you are brilliant performers the idea of this workshop is to road show those brilliant performers and see how that could be replicated um there is a session or two sessions on innovation in teachers education now i am throwing an idea to you i am not saying that should be done while traveling to the states i discovered that the diets are in a very bad shape now diets are performing two fold functions one the dlet course the other is teachers training now that we are taking a full fledged action to ensure that the bet colleges do a better job than what they are doing through the intervention of nctte let us think in terms of dispensing with the role of diets as in terms of delivering dlet and focus totally on teachers training the amount of money that we spend on dlet courses is phenomenal and that can be spent by the private sector if we discipline them we'll have better bet colleges and i to my understanding diet should focus totally on teachers training because i my lim in my limited understanding of education sector if we can sort out the teachers related problem i think we've sorted out most of the education related issue and finally uh, there are sessions on digital education uh, when presentations are made on digital uh, education we should aim at converging what is happening there is a lot of work that is being done by the central government that will also be told to you we are trying to create one single national platform for teachers one single national platform for students so that everything can converge on that and we don't go hunting around for data the problem today in digital world is information overload so what we are trying to do is to see how do we navigate through that and that we are trying to work here and we request all the states to do it and finally uh, we have representatives of all scrt it, i don't see tamil nadu here but i i hope others are here please make use of this occasion to understand even more how ncrt is working how you could work in tandem with ncrt i don't think we can stand alone and do things as i said a lot of work, good work is being done by you a lot of good work being done by ncrt both of us can benefit from that once again i thank ncrt for creating this occasion for br bringing everyone around to discuss extremely important issues that will make a difference to education system in india thank you very much